Okay, so um, this is your biceps femoris, the big one here with the little flap going down into meter. your calcaneus tendon. And you have your artery from the, the caudal gluteal branch of the internal iliac and the distal caudal femoral, which is which you can actually oh. you can actually see in there. <laughs> Not sure how you can all see. Anyways, it's in there. <laughs> and then you have semitendinosus, which is hanging by a thread here. And semimembranosus is right here. It's the bigger one. And as, I don't know if you recall that they cross as well. So on the other side, the first one is the big one here, semimembranosus. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to, to, <laughs> to <laughs> Yeah, okay. So semi tendinous uh, semi sorry, bicep femoris, the origin is this sacrotuberous ligament and the ischiatic tuberosity. Sacrotuberous ligament you can actually see very well here. Sorry. Good. And the insertion is the um, the patella by the <coughs> Sorry, by the fascia lata and the coral fascia and the tuber calcanei, which is here for the, uh, by the coral fascia. And the, yeah, the artery I already told you. Semi uh, tendinosis, the origin is the ischiatic tuberosity, so here. And the uh, insertion is the tuber calcanei here by coral fascia and the distal, distal cranial border, medial body of the tibia. So, because normally it would, it would go like this. We removed the fascia, which is why it's hanging right now, but it would go onto the tibia, which is, maybe you would have fascia going up to here. Okay. And then you have uh, semimembranosus, which originates on the ischiatic tuberosity as well, and inserts on the medial condyle of the tibia. So on here, you can see on the medial side, and on the distal cranial border of the medial body of the tibia, the same here for this muscle, the big one here. Uh, for these three, as you can imagine, they're all innervated by the sciatic nerve, which is still in here, which is, makes sense because these three are right here, the nerve is here. So these three are innervated by the sciatic nerve. And the arterial supply for the semitendinosus is the caudal femoral, and for semimembranosus is the caudal femoral as well. Then if we go on the other side, uh, I'm not sure you guys are gonna see, so you might wanna switch. I'm shuffling. Okay. So, uh, is oh, everyone sorry. good? Okay, yeah? Um, yeah, good. Can we remove the block onto the other side? Is that possible? Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Can you <laughs> can you Whoa. Are you on the Do I look like a bird? Yes, your perch sound <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yes, no, no, yes. Okay. Sartorius has two parts. You have your cranial part, which is thicker and more cranial, makes sense. And the thinner part is the caudal part here, goes down a little deeper. And the uh, origin for, for, ooh, for the cranial part is the crest of the ilium here. And the origin, sorry. And the origin uh, for the for the cuddle part is the cranial cranial ventral iliac spine and the ventral border of the ilium. Thank you. <laughs> and the ins the insertion for uh, for the cranial part is the patella, and um, the cuddle part is the cranial border of the tibia because you can see it goes down in the tibia, which whereas the other one goes to the patella. And uh, the the uh, Arterial supply, yeah. For just pointing, can oh. see time, just for okay. he can film it so he can Oh, okay, sorry, yeah. Uh, the arterial supply is the iliolumbar artery and the uh, superficial circumflex femoral artery. And your innervation is the femoral, uh, the femoral nerve, which you can actually So for those nerves, operator, femoral, yeah. saphenous, et cetera, you still have your specimens mm -hmm. to review. Um, and then you have gracilis, which is this one here, the first one when you lift the leg. And the origin of this is the pelvic symphysis, 
by the symphysial tendon, which is what we cut, if you remember, directly in the middle. And uh, the insertion is the cranial board of the tibia and the tuber calcani. Okay. And by way of cruel fashion. By way of cruel fashion. Uh, the artery is the deep femoral and the caudal femoral. And the innervation is the obturator, the obturator nerve, which, as you can remember, was around here. So it goes up to this one here. And uh, then you have the, uh, you want me to mention the femoral triangle? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> here where your, your femoral artery and vein and, well, nerve pass as well. So... And the area where they exit the abdominal cavity is known as? Vascular lacuna. Vascular lacuna. <laughs> Just like Dr. Lacuna. Yeah. Who's <laughs> Dr. Lacuna? You didn't and pick up on that, eh? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Love that part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the pectineus is the small one with the big tendon. As you can see, like the tendon goes up very high, but there's a very small belly, okay? And the origin is the iliopubic eminence and the pubic tubercle via prepubic tendon, and the insertion is the caudal face of the lip of the femur. The artery is the deep femoral and the proximal caudal femoral, and the innervation is the obturator nerve. And then you have a ductor which has two parts. You can't really see it. You have a ductor, which is deep to gracilis. Yeah, you can see very well it's deep to gracilis. So magnus and brevis is the, the big one here, which you can see without cutting up anything. Can you see? Yeah? Okay. Magnus and brevis? Yes. And a ductor lungus is underneath, it would be underneath here. You have a good diagram for this in your book, but it's not <laughs> dissected on here. But it would, it would be part of the V-shape around the external obturator that's in here. And um, so adduct, adductor, the origin is the pelvic symphysis as well, and the ventral surface of the pubis and ischium. And the insertion is the lateral lip of the caudal surface of the femur. The artery is the deep femoral and the proximal caudal femoral artery, and the obturator nerve as well. So you have your gracilis, your adductor, and your pectineus, which all have your, and uh, that all have your obturator nerve uh, innervating them. And then you have, plane, plane, plane. Okay, wait, okay, okay. So then you have tensor fascia lata here, which is the one that we warned you about not removing too much, too much fascia, because it has a very small belly on top here, and it has this super long fascia, really putting it back to the patella. So the origin is the tuber coxae, and it has an aponeurosis on the ilium as well. And the insertion is the lateral femoral fascia, which is just why you have insertion on here. The, um, the artery is the lateral circumflex femoral, and the iliolumbar, and the innervation is the cranial gluteal uh, nerve. Then you have the superficial gluteal, which is the thin one that we've cut up, so you you can see these two here normally connect. Yeah. And uh, this one, the origin is the lateral border of the sacrum and the iliac spine. Super zoomed in. Okay. And the insertion is the third trochanter. And then you have the uh, artery, which is the cranial and caudal gluteal arteries, and the innervation is the caudal gluteal uh, nerve. The middle gluteal muscle is the one that's the big, the big gluteal one here. And uh, the middle gluteal, the origin is the crest and the gluteal surface of the ilium. You have the, the gluteal surface, it fills it in nicely. And then you have the insertion on the greater trochanter. The artery is the cranial and caudal gluteal arteries as well. And the innervation is the cranial gluteal. And then underneath, well, you have the piriformis, which is part of the middle, which has had a rough time in here, but it was a small muscle here. This is part of middle, okay? And then you have your deep gluteal, which is the fan one, thinner, beneath it. 
and the origin is the body of the ilium and the ischiatic spine, and the insertion is the cranial part of the greater trochanter. The artery, again, is cranial caudal gluteal artery, and the innervation cranial gluteal. Okay, then, oh, internal obturator mm -hmm. is, yeah, with, with external obturator, uh, uh, fill the uh, obturator foramen on both sides. Uh, I, I don't know if you can remember that we had external on this side, and then we found internal by sort of connecting your fingers on both sides of the front. Yep. So you can't see, but it would be in here, internal obturator. The origin is the symphysis, symphysis pelvis, and the insertion, the trochanteric fossa of the femur. And the uh, innervation is the sciatic, and the artery medial circumflex femoral and caudal gluteal. Then you have uh, Jim Lee, which is this one here which is the one that has, that looks like it has two small bellies, but it's just because of the tendon of the internal obturator that, that goes up on it before it attaches up here. So it creates two bellies, okay? That's a good way to remember what it looks like. The origin is the lateral surface of the ischium and the insertion, the trochanteric fossa. The artery is the caudal gluteal artery and the innervation sciatic. Then you have quadratus femoris, which, which forms the other part of your V around your external obturator, but you can't see as well. Uh, but it would be here. Like, this is a doctor, a doctor longus would be here, and, and quadratus femoris would be here. And the, the filling here would be external obturator. You can visualize, it's good. Okay, the origin is the ventral caudal part of the ischium, and the insertion is the intertrochanteric crest. The artery is the caudal gluteal, and the innervation is the sciatic. And then you have external obturator, which I was mentioning before would be on here, pretty much under your Dr. Magnus and Rivis, filling up the other side of the obturator foramen. And the origin is the ventral surface of the pubis and ischium, insertion trochanteric fossa, artery medial circumflex femoral and caudal gluteal and the innervation would be the obturator nerve which makes sense again because if, I don't know if you can remember but these three were innervated by the obturator as well and obtra external obturator as well. Then you have quadriceps femoris which uh, has heads that are not called quadriceps but it has four heads. So if you Normally we would we would cut these these arteries so you could see better. So tell me if you don't see. You have vastus lateralis, which is on the lateral side. Then you have on the medial side vastus medialis. Yes. yes. And then facing more the head. Well, how can I show you? So you okay, here is better. This head is rectus femoris. And rectus means like straight. So it's like this straight one, straight strap, okay? So rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis. And in between, in here, which is, try to dissect for it, but it's, it's hard because it's, the, the fibers are all meshed, but vastus intermedius is inside, okay? So you have lateral, medial, and intermedius, which is between, and rectus femoris is the straight one. Everyone following? Good. <laughs> okay, so you have different <laughs> origins for, for these heads because they don't all come to the right place, the same place. So rectus femoris goes to the ilium. It originates on the ilium. Vastus lateralis originates on the proximal lateral lip of the caudal surface of the femur. Vastus intermedius goes to the lateral side of proximal end of the femur and vestus medialis goes to the medial side of the proximal end of the femur. And they all insert on the tibial thrust. Okay. And then you have, uh, they, they're all innervated by the uh, femoral nerve. But I don't know if you can see, well, you, you can see pretty well here. The femoral nerve goes directly into your quadriceps. And then you have the artery, which is the lateral circumflex femoral. Then you have iliopsoa, which you can see a little bit here. Check that, that nerve pierces right through it, right? Femoral nerve, that's how you found it. 
and originates on the lumbar vertebra and the craniovertebral ilium for the iliacus, which you can't see as well but next to here. And then the insertion is the lesser trochanter, the artery, the iliolumbar, and the innervation, the lumbar nerve, and the femoral nerve as well, which is going through it. Okay. And then we have the, okay, switch up to here. 